The Tin Caps came in on a five-game winning streak, but met another team that's been pretty hot, the Hot Rods. And Bowling Green takes game one of this four-game series by a count of 5-2. to two. Reggie Lawson on the mound for Fort Wayne, and boy, the 20-year-old from California was really good tonight. Lawson went five innings, and the Padres' third-round pick from last year struck out seven, allowed only three hits and no runs. And he got some offensive help early on in the second. Here's Tyler Seleski, who is a late addition to the lineup, and boy, good to have him in there. His first home run of the season and that gave the Tin Caps a 1-0 lead. That was also the 102nd home run of the season for Fort Wayne as a team, tying a franchise record. And the very next batter, Buddy Reed, broke that franchise record with the team's 103rd home run of the season. Seleski and Reed go back-to-back, -back, and the Tin Caps had some history and a 2-0 lead. So Lawson put up zeros through five. The Hot Rods, though, their offense finally woke up in the eighth inning. Here's Garrett Whitley with a go-ahead RBI single that made it 3-2 to two hot rides. There was an error at the start of the inning that kind of opened up the door for the rally for the visitors who put up five runs on five hits, including this dagger of a two-run double from Rene Pinto that made it 5-2 Bowling Green in the top of the eighth inning. The Tin Caps, they threaten. They put a couple guys on base in the eighth inning. Throughout the night, they hit the ball hard and really a fitting end to this game. As with two outs in the ninth, Fernando Tatis Jr. hit one deep to right center field, and Josh Lowe made one of a few spectacular defensive plays for him and really seven highlight reel plays for the Hot Rods overall in this game. Game two of the four-game set, Country Night, presented by Shindigs, set for 7.05 on Friday night here at Parkview Fields.